Thanks to Vid.io for sponsoring this video. Hey guys, I'm James and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you five different text effects that you can make in Adobe Premiere Pro. And of course, if you don't want to watch the whole video, then you can download the preset or the mogart file from the link in the description below. So without wasting any more time, let's go to Adobe Premiere Pro. First, you need to make a new sequence. And when you are making a new sequence, you have to make sure which frame rate you are going to work with a lot suppose when i am editing my videos i use 24 fps videos a lot that is the reason i'm going to make 24 fps sequence from here so right click and then go to new item sequence and select dslr 1080p 24 and from here go settings and you can increase the resolution i'll just make it 4k 3840 into 2160 then you can give it a name then click ok so this is my sequence so now you're ready to make your text effect in adobe premiere pro first we are going to learn how you can make pop-up text effect if you watch shorts then you can see when they're talking they use a lot of text effect and the text is just popping up right so how you can make it go here on your timeline then select the type tool and click here and you can write whatever you want i am just writing pop up this is the text i'm going to use right select the text and go to window and then essential graphics this panel will appear then select the text and here you can change the font i'm going to use roboto font and you can increase or decrease the font size from here right you have to make sure that you have center aligned the text and from here you can change the position i'll just keep it here on the bottom section and from here i'm just centering it now i have to go to fx control panel and from here click on this arrow then scroll down under transform you'll see scale properties right so go at the beginning and then you can just press spacebar to for a few frames and then you can click on this stopwatch which says toggle animation right click here so it will add a keyframe here on this section right you can see there is a keyframe and now you have to go at the beginning of your text and here you have to decrease this size to zero right so if you play it back you'll see that text is popping up but it is not looking convincing right we can make it better to make it better you have to go here and then you have to press tell the key on your keyboard so it will maximize this effects control panel select the second keyframe and then right click and click is out and now if you click here on this arrow you'll see there is a curve right you can just click and drag this curve to make it like this and then if you get back to again if you press delta key it will just minimize the effects control panel now if you play it back you'll see it is just popping up right again i'm just making this section a little bit bigger so if i press the space bar you can see the text is popping up so that is the beginning part of my animation now let's end it right so again go here on this effects control panel you can just double click to maximize it then you can go here click on this add or remove keyframe here so that we can add a new keyframe and from here you can again decrease the scale so i'm just making it zero right so again if i go here it is popping up and again it is just going down so the ending animation is a little bit slower we can make it a little bit faster just by clicking and dragging it here right now if i play it back yeah that is the animation you can make this animation responses by clicking here and you can increase the size you can click and drag this section so that it doesn't interfere with the animation whenever you are adjusting the duration of this clip if you just make it small it will preserve the animation right again if you make it bigger it will just preserve the ending animation so that is the beauty of making responsive animation before showing the second text effect let me introduce with you today's video sponsor vid.io vid.io is an online based video editing app that you can use on your browser you don't need to download or install it in order to use it but don't underestimate it it is pretty powerful there are a lot of templates to choose from or you can make your own project it supports multi-track editing you can use audio from their audio library and auto transcribe feature will make your subtitling process much easier 
even there are a lot of text effects elements transition and filters available for you the magic ai features are fabulous i really like the background removal and the silent removal feature the most if you want to learn about vid.io let me know in the comment section below so that i can make a dedicated video on it and if you want to try vid.io then click the first link in the description below now the second text effect which is smooth reveal right so if i go here i can add a new text just select the type tool then write whatever you want i'm just writing smooth reveal right select the text then you can go to essential graphics then you can center align it you can just make it center align horizontally then change the position i'll just keep it here so here i'm going to use a reveal animation to add a reveal animation you need to make a new rectangle from here so click here on this new icon then click rectangle it will make a new rectangle right select the selection tool you can change the size of the rectangle i'll just make the rectangle a little bit bigger than the text then i'll just cover the text with this rectangle now go at the bottom section and click here which is mask with shape now go to effects control panel and here you have to select the text which is smooth reveal right click here on this arrow and scroll down under transform you'll see position so go to at the beginning and then press space bar to forward few frames and here you can add a keyframe under the position just click here and then go to at the beginning now we can change the text position i'll just make it this much right now if i play it back you'll see the text is revealing from the bottom section right it is looking great but we can make it a little bit better so go here press the tilde key to maximize it right click and then temporal interpolation select is out then click here and you can alter this one this curve right now if i get back here if i play it back you'll see it is looking pretty good right and now let's end the animation so i'll just go here under effects control panel i'll press tilde key to maximize it i'll just add a keyframe here on this section and then i'll go here on this point and again press tilde key to minimize it i'll just change this position this much and then i'll adjust the keyframe position now if i play it back you'll see it is looking great so this is the revealing again it is hiding right so this is our second text effect let's now learn how you can make a fade in text effect that is pretty easy and i think most of you already know about it so let's make a new text fade in then select the text again you can change the arrangement a little bit so this is the text uh, fade in animation is pretty basic go to effects control panel then you have to go to here under the transform you'll see opacity properties go at the beginning click here under opacity and then press space bar to forward few frames and here you can add another keyframe go to at the beginning keyframe and decrease the opacity so if i play it back it will just fade in again you can go here then another keyframe and then here you can just fade out so that is the basic fade in animation again you can protect the animation just by clicking and dragging this section just like that so that whenever you adjust the size of your text it doesn't change the animation now the fourth animation which is speed reveal so select the type tool then write a text which is speed reveal select the text again you can arrange the text as you want i'll just keep it very simple so how we are gonna make the speed reveal we have to apply a new effect on this text layer go to effects then search for directional blur which is this one click and drag it on your text then go to effects control panel and from here you'll see there is a effect directional blur so go to at the beginning of your text layer and from here you have to add a keyframe right just add a keyframe and then you have to add the blur length this much and you can change the direction so that is the direction i want so this is our starting position then press the space bar to forward few frames then you have to reset this section now if you play it back it is looking great right if you don't want to see the rotation of the blur when you're playing then you just need to delete this 
keyframe which is direction right if i play it back you'll see it is looking great let's make the ending of this animation select the text layer and then you can just maximize it pressing tilde key now you can just copy this section to make it pretty simple right you can just select this one then press copy and deselect it then you can right click and then click paste so it will paste this keyframe right again select this keyframe then copy you can go here and then you can just paste this keyframe you can just arrange this like that right if i play it back so it is looking great now the last one which is glitch text effect right i will just duplicate this one and then i will delete this effect that we have applied so i have to apply a effect which called vr glitch right if you search vr glitch then you'll see there is a effect which called vr glitch you have to apply this one here on the, your text right so before using this glitch effect you have to make sure you're using a graphics card if you don't have a graphics card this effect will not work so i'll just go at the beginning section of my text layer which is this one and then i will just add keyframe for random seat and for poi scale right and then press spacebar to forward few frames you can decrease this section and you can increase this one right now if you play it back you will see there is a glitch effect when the text is appearing right and again i have to end the animation i'll just copy this to keyframe then i'll paste it here then i'll select this two keyframe copy i'll paste this two keyframe here so that's it if i play the animation again the text is appearing and it is disappearing so that is the five text effect that you can make in adobe premiere pro i have already made the mogart file that you can use in adobe premiere pro if you want to use the mogart file then you have to go here which is the essential graphics and from here you have to go to browse section and from here you have to click on this section then browse wherever you have saved the files i have saved it here on this folder select any of this text effect right if i want to use the uh, pop-up text effect animation i just click here then it will import the pop-up text effect right so if i click on the recent you will see here is our pop-up text effect animation you have to just click and drag it here in order to use it if i just play it back you see it is just working right again if you want to use the another then just click here then you can use that effect here on your timeline if you play it back you'll see here is our glitch effect so if you want to download the files you can use the link in the description below that is all for today i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you know this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one early then goodbye